Now, Heartland Sports with Todd Richards. Hi again, everyone. The SEMO men's basketball team looking to make it two straight at home against Harris Stowe. We're out to the Show Me Center, and I'll tell you what, the Red Hawks had it clicking against the, the visitors, and there's Brad Korn and, and his team from Southeast, and they were doing everything right on these hitting shots left and right. Antonio Thomas right there for a three. How about Adam Larson? Spots up right out there near the top of the key for the basket. And Rob Martin, man, what a move! Stops and hits that basket right there, and they were just getting warmed up. Red Hawks kept it going. Aquan Smart, you've heard of him, and he can do this. He hits another one from out there. Larson again. Watch the big guy. I say big. He plays more of a, a guard type slash forward type position, right? Does everything, but he's got good moves. No doubt this big man plays underneath. Talk about Mason Handback with the bucket. Then Martin again. He led him with 19. Two more here, and the Red Hawks get the win, 95 to 45. SEMO cruises over Harris Stowe. I'll have reaction tonight at 10. Meanwhile, SEMO women playing at Purdue. Tough game against a Big Ten opponent. They hang tough, but fall 83 to 57. Well, a huge out of conference win for the Salukis last night. SIU, SIU, excuse me, knocked off. Oklahoma State 70 to 68 at Banterra Center. Clarence Rupert, that big basket plus the foul in the last minute. They never trailed again. Xavier Johnson also had 32. That's the final throw in. Good defense to flex it out. Saluki's so got that win. Meanwhile, we're talking about the SIU women this afternoon. They got a win at Banterra 77 to 53 over SIU Edwardsville. High school hoops, the semifinals tomorrow night in the SEMO Conference Tournament. The first semifinal features top seed and host Sykes it against Popper Bluff at six, followed by the high-flying New Madrid County Central Eagles. They can do it all, and so can Cape Central. That's who they'll play in the next round. New Madrid is coming off a state championship run in Class 3. The Eagles see this tournament as an opportunity to improve and test their skills against some of the best. Seasons are just the numbers. I said anybody can win this tournament. I said two years ago we won it as a seven seed. I said so the seeds are just the numbers. We got to come in and play, play hard, and uh, at the end of the day we'll know who who came out and worked the hardest. The strides this team has made in a short amount of time is, is, is great. Uh, you know you got three or four seniors. They lead the way a lot for us. It can help our um, younger guys get some quality minutes that we need throughout the year to see later on down the road when this comes, they come like that. It really just builds our chemistry. I like how fast the younger guys picking up. Uh, they, I, I think they're still trying to figure out the gameplay we play with the guys that's been there. I think they're picking it up fast. We still got a lot of work to do, though. SEMO semifinal action again tomorrow at 6 at Sykeston. Great news for Cardinals fans. Nine-time Gold Glove winner Yadier Molina back with the team. He's been named a special assistant to President of Baseball Operations John Mazalak. Molina was a 10-time National League All-Star, played every game over his 19-year career in a Cardinals uniform.